Hi, Clayton back again. Now my road trip through New Zealand has taken me down the North Island to arguably the most popular tourist destination in the country, Rotorua. Rotorua, you know you're somewhere truly unique. Nowhere else in the world could I be sitting this close to this type of geothermal activity of bubbling mud pools, of spouting geysers and of steamy volcanic remains. It's no wonder why this environment has been so sacred to the indigenous New Zealand population, with the wider Rotorua district being affectionately known as the heartland of Māori culture. From the geothermal inners of the earth to the flora and the fauna that lies on top of it, Rainbow Springs is a walkthrough experience of New Zealand nature. <coughs> totally disinterested. Well, next door, the Kiwi Encounter is the only Kiwi hatchery to offer guided tours to the public and it successfully hatched over 500 little chicks. After a dose of nature in Rotorua, it's time for some adventure. Another nutty New Zealand adventure invention, the Zorb. I'll see you at the bottom. <laughs> it's actually quite pleasant in here, and after that I'm just going to stay in. I'm about to get on the Kaituna River and go rafting with the River Rats crew, but I'm a bit apprehensive because they've told me that this river's got the highest commercially rafted waterfall in the world. Although I've also heard the river's not as swift as it could be. Is that right? <laughs> wow, that was absolutely amazing. Although they told me that the boat only flips one time in 20, so I'm assuming that it was the 20th. Discovered 125 years ago, known for its therapeutic value, the Polynesian spars being devoted to one of the top ten in the world by Colonel's Travel Magazine. And it's easy to see why. What a way to end an adventure filled day. So if you like what you see, there's plenty more here at Look and Book to help you plan your itinerary and get the very best out of your time here in New Zealand.